Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let me show you some do's and don'ts of downspout drain discharge. There's so many options here, but let's take a look at what works and what doesn't work. So here's an MDS catch basin installed under the downspout. You tell me, what is the problem with this? Can you see? Let's take a look, we'll, we'll put this together and you take a look and you'll see why we don't do this. If you're installing a catch basin, as shown here, underneath the downspout, this is not the proper way to collect the water from your roof. This is going to splash all over the place. Let me put it together and I'll show you why. Even if you run PVC from that catch basin, it's not going to make any difference. The problem is, as water comes down that downspout from the roof, it's going to splash all over the place. And it may not seem like a big deal, but behind that wall there's a crawl space. And all this water that's just splashing out is going right back along that foundation wall and of course, making that crawl space wet. A lot of people install this catch basin at the bottom of the downspout. And their idea, belief, is that it's going to pick up the debris before it goes down the line. But look what happens when it rains hard. Can you see that water? It runs right off of that grate and just floods around the area. This is not the way to install a downspout drain. And even NDS, the maker of that catch basin, promotes to do this. But this is not the right way to do it. Much better ways than this. You can see that water just pours off of there. Yeah, granted, when the rain slows down and you have a very, you know, just a very small rain, it's picking up that water. But what happens when it rains hard? The downspout drain is the most important part of any rainwater drainage system. You know, I see a lot of videos showing how they're running these pipes, two and three pipes in the same trench, for e one for each downspout. The four inch pipe can easily handle your entire roof. In other words, you could connect one side of the house, both front and back downspouts, and send them out to the street and do the same thing on the other side. There's no reason to send two or three pipes from one side of the house, you know, all the way out to the street. Okay, using PVC, you can see we've got a downspout adapter, then we've got a Y that holds the clean out. There's a clean out assembly with a cap so that if that line backs up, you're able to send a cable down through there and clean that line. Maintenance is very important. People say PVC never gets roots, believe me. Been doing this 30 years and it can get roots and it can collapse. All these things are possible. If you live up north, a lot of people have a belief that putting a clean out on there kind of helps with it freezing. Actually, it does nothing for freezing. It's not going to solve any problems at all. Um, you know, when that line freezes, it freezes. So let's look at the parts that are needed for this configuration of a PVC downspout. The downspout is rectangular, so we need a fitting called a downspout adapter that goes from rectangular to round to go onto our pipe. Next we have a Y, and the Y holds the clean-out assembly. You could use a T, it would work the same, but the Y gives you a little bit easier access into the line. Next we have the clean-out assembly. There's two pieces in this assembly. One is a female threaded adapter, and the other is the clean-out cap. At the bottom, there is a 90-degree elbow that connects your discharge pipe to the downspout assembly. You also need small pieces of pipe to connect each of these three fittings. I think it's worth noting how much each of these pieces cost. Downspout adapter, almost $4. The Y, almost $7. The clean out and cap, $5. And the 90, $2. So that's $18 for that entire assembly. And while that might not sound like very much, what if you had 10 downspouts on your house? Of course you want them to match. So you're gonna spend $180 for this assembly to get these downspouts looking proper. Okay, we've got a great PVC downspout drain line. 
And here's the discharge. We like to use a four inch grate. We secure that with a screw. And you can see the water comes right out. So remember, if you've got that catch basin there at the bottom of that downspout, you need to remove it, especially if you have a crawl space like this home right behind that wall. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.